the one rib, pour out the Jameson for ancestors to swig. You rescue me yet again. You put me first everywhere. You make me feel better than the mother too. You rescue me yet again. You put me first everywhere. You make me feel better than the you know what we do here, all black everything, black love, black wealth, black relationships, black community, black solutions, black knowledge and education, everything is black here. So um, today <clears throat> we have a debate between Cornel West and Candace Owens, and this was back I think about a year ago, maybe a year or two ago, maybe 2020, something like that, maybe even 19, but this is... This is an older interview, but a lot of the things that she talks about in this interview, she still talks about to this day. Um, but I wanted to, because, you know, until I get until I get to a position where I'm able to debate Miss Candace Owens, this is probably about as close as I'm going to get to being able to rebuttal some of the things that she says. Even though Cornel West did a great job, I want to jump in and say a few things that if I was Cornel West or if I was in that position... I probably would have said a few other things. So let's check it out. And as well as make sure you guys drop a comment, leave a comment. Because I want to see what you guys got to say about some of the things that she says as well. So let's get to business. But certainly we've got to protect personal liberties. 100%. Across Wear a dress. I say, guys, if you, you want to go put on yeah, a dress. Yeah, no one wants to make that leap. But I mean, it's not, it, we, we got the Amish, you got the Mennonites, you got the Baptists, you got different groups in religion, different groups in culture, different uh, Muslims, Mexicans. Make sure personal liberties are protected Always. no matter what. I agree. Now, now I don't know about the, uh, the this, this dictate about the teachers telling the students you're talking about in first grade second grade. yeah and they're not allowed yeah, they can call them in school in school now these are the type of things that i really don't disagree with her about when it comes to like things that teachers are doing with children in school and not letting the parents know that's definitely that's definitely something i don't agree with like if you're doing something in school with my son or my daughter then you need to be letting me know, you know, that you're doing it and as well as why you're doing it. Because if you're calling my son a, 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 a she in school and I'm and when he comes home, I'm calling him he and you know what I mean? Like, first off, why are you calling him she in school if I if I ain't tell you that he is she or if he's not a she like so I, I totally understand where she's coming from with this. Well, they're allowed to call your son. You could not know your son's going to school and they could be calling her her all day by a different name. They are no longer required to tell the parent because now they're protecting. And that to me is really crazy stuff. And that's what I speak out against, which gets me earned as a, you know, a hate monger. And I'm going, do you understand what's happening here? You're confusing children. Children don't, I don't think about that stuff when I was a kid. You know, I, I for like two years, I, I thought I was a tomboy. I used to run around, I used to wear baggy clothes, speak with a deep voice. I was in fourth grade because I just thought the boys were cooler. My mom didn't shave my head and call me Michael. The teachers didn't call me Michael. I was still Candace. And then Don't a couple of years later, blockers. I went, yeah, a couple of years later, I went through puberty and suddenly I thought the guys were cute, right? right. And, and that's what's being disrupted now that they're trying to normalize, um, allowing children to go under hormone therapy when they haven't even hit puberty or allowing these children to, to say that they're yes, different yeah, people. Yeah, it's yeah, that's really yeah, going to make yeah, the yeah, black I community didn't, snap. I didn't, I didn't know about but any community. We're not just talking more about black. More black, more, yeah, black white people are really. more, okay, my son's a girl. Yeah, no. Black, black moms, you're like, not, calling, you're not calling my son. I don't have a son yet, but you, let me find out that some school is calling my son by a name that I didn't give him. Black moms will show up 100%. I would argue that the whole trans movement is the end of black support of the left. It's they they pushed it too far. Right. I think a lot of the left sees blacks as their pets, and they're going to lose their pets. Their pets mm. are going to start misbehaving. Now. They do treat us yeah. like pets. No, but That's when you crazy. But, but the when you talk about just I mean, just as a Christian for me, I Fire. begin with the notion that anybody, any gender creature with a language made in the image and likeness of God. They have a sanctity. That's why I say precious trans folk. They got the same sanctity that I have, that my daughter, my son, anybody else has. I agree, 100%. And that's just a spiritual truth that I hold on to, whether it's popular or unpopular. I'm just going down with it. I agree with but you. But then when you move into society, you see, I don't want 
any kind of social engineering. That's what I'm. Well, that's what's right. happening. You're getting folks saying, "Okay, this is the only way to go." No, that's what's no, happening. See, I, I, I didn't. I don't know about that. If I saw that kind of thing, yeah. I'd be I'll critical. I'll send you of something it. on it a bit. But, uh, um, but it's so easy to fall into a kind of dehumanizing mode, and and I come from a people who've been dehumanized so easily. Mm. Black folk, brown folk, poor whites, gays, lesbians, Jews, Muslims. Mm. I mean, we've got long histories of, of, of being easily dehumanized. Yes, and I agree with you. But we're so when we're so determined to be see. tolerant, we tend to tolerate intolerance, especially from Islam. Like everyone talks about Charlottesville and Heather Heyer, obviously a catastrophe. Yeah, and I, I was with Heather hear. just twenty minutes before she died. You were? Oh yeah, I was right there. Oh my God. Oh yeah, I was standing right there. The neo-Nazi brothers were spitting on us, telling us off and so we were singing this little light of mine. You know, that I'm not clergy, but they were clergy. I'm just Christian. I'm a lay person. And we were right there, and Heather was right right on the side. We were talking just 20 minutes before she was hit, you see. Mm. And she was just a magnificent uh, a human being, very young, very but, committed. But this whole shape. concept of fighting but hate, which we all advocate. can be used, though, brother. I mean, oh, Islam's no, let, got let me, fascist but versions. But we the, hear so much about this stupid so Nazi hate crap that I'm just sick of hearing about. No one talks about the West Side Highway. The West Side Highway? Well, yeah, where six people were killed, six to, or eight were killed by a jihadist. No one talks about Fort Hood, about the beheading in Oklahoma, about the Orlando shooting at Pulse nightclub, uh, about San Bernardino. We have hear about Heather Heyer literally more than all of those other victims combined. And every time you see these hate groups where they're out there to stop hate and hate watch and SPLC, ADL, it's just skinhead, skinhead, Nazi, 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 zero jihadists, and, zero and, jihadi and quite, training camps. And quite frankly, well, we I agree with you. And, and, and I think that what really, you know, gets really, well, some black people can get very upset with me because I say, you want me to focus on white supremacy when we know that 95% of black Americans that are killed uh, are killed by other black people. All right, now this is where my rebuttal would have came from, and this is where I feel like Mr. West should have rebuttaled and really, you know, enlighten her on the black on black crime myth. All right, there is no such thing as black on black crime, um, it's something that the media made up. Okay, because there's no such thing as white on white crime. There's no Mexican on Mexican crime. There's no Asian on Asian crime. There's only black on black crime. So let's break that down. Black on black crime. You do crime to in, in the vicinity that you live in. Okay, so most criminals, they don't, they don't, if they're doing a crime, we're, we're, they're, they're not, you know, trying to find, I'm not, like, if I need some money or if I need to eat, I need to eat now. I need money now, okay? I can't, I can't afford to catch the bus to the suburbs and rob somebody in the suburbs because I ain't even got the money to get to the suburbs, right? So who am I going to rob? I'm going to rob what's around me. I'm going to rob what's in my vicinity. OK, that 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 is why you, you know, black on black crime is a myth. And I, I wish that she would stop saying that because she she lives off that shit. And I'm quite sure somebody has already told her this or somebody has told her this and she just chose to let it go in one ear and out the other. You do crime where you are at, period. So if. Black people are in the projects and in the hood and there's no opportunity, no money, no nothing. Then, yes, they're doing crimes to each other because, once again, they can't afford to go anywhere to do crimes to anybody else. Same thing with the suburbs. It's, there, there's 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 a hell of a lot of crime going on in the suburbs. But you know about you don't hear about it because it's the suburbs and it's white people. It's white on white crime. OK. White guy, white guys killing their girlfriends. White guys is out here, you know, um, shooting up shit. White people is out here, you know, um, um, driving under suspension and driving with no license and shit like that. They do the same illegal shit. They do the same crimes and things that black people do. You just never hear about white on white crimes. White people kill white people all the time. Who you think is making all the methamphetamine? Who you think smokes all the methamphetamine? 
That is totally white on right crime because black people don't do, we don't use meth. We don't make that shit. White people make that shit. And who smokes that shit? White people smoke that shit. So if you want to talk about white on white crime, that's white on, that, that, what the fuck? Like, so once again, I hate the fact that she, she sits on that and she says that shit all the time. Black on black crime. And the black before black on black before we can talk. No, no, no. We need to talk about white supremacy. Fuck black on black crime because once again that's a myth that they 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 got you caught up on something that doesn't even fucking exist okay but police brutality does exist white supremacy does exist and because we live in the constraints of that system that is the reason why black on black crime exists okay because of white supremacy so it pisses me off when i hear say shit like we shouldn't be worried about white supremacy when we got black no bitch white supremacy is why we have Black on black crime. That's white supremacy is where the the whole word and context of black on black crime came from. Let's go on. I'm sorry. I apologize. I'm a little pumped. Let me calm down. Why? 95%. Yeah. So I, uh, my chance is I should be more afraid sitting next to a black man. All right. That, then, then if you're looking at just statistics. People don't like that. That's the truth. They don't like that. That's not the truth. That's not the truth. Okay, now maybe you should be more aware of sitting next to a black man in the middle of the goddamn hood, okay, who nigga ain't ate in a week, all right, and nigga starving and shit like that, then yes, you probably want to be aware of that nigga because he probably able to do any goddamn thing to, to get something to eat. But if you sit next to a black man in Starbucks in the fucking suburbs, are you, are you still, you still, you still jumpy? You still feeling like, oh my God, he's going to do something to me? Hell fucking no. Because you in a you in a place where it's nothing but money and opportunity, so you already feel safer, because you're not in the fucking hood. The fuck out of here, man. This is the this is why I just can't get with Candace Owens. Like I say, some of the stuff you'd be like, okay, I understand that, but some of the shit she say, it's like, yo, are you even trying to educate yourself on this stuff, or are you just saying it because it sounds good? Oh, no, 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 it feels better. Let's focus on the white supremacy. Let's focus on this area, which basically never happened if you're looking at statistics because you don't want to talk about because in our communities. And when I spoke well, at the it, White House it, two it, weeks ago, it, it I spoke about happen. Tyshawn it, Lee. It does happen. Yeah, but 95% but disproportionate. every year yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. of black Americans that are, mm -hmm. that are killed in a homicide event are killed by other black people. And that's not even including Hispanics. So maybe another 3% go to, were killed by, maybe were killed by Hispanics. Who knows? We're talking about a slither of people, black Americans that are killed by whites in this in this country annually. And yet the focus on it would make you think it's happening every single day. That's my problem because you want to know what that says? That says that they're purposely having us focus on things that are never gonna fix our community, okay? If we wanna talk about fixing our community, we gotta talk about gang violence. Because that's, and I spoke about that at the White House, Tyshawn Lee, a nine-year-old kid who got shot point blank, mm. lured into an alley and shot point blank. Because but see, this is, and you know what? This is the mentality, in my opinion, of the majority of modern black women. I hate to say it, but they don't look at white supremacy as a threat. A lot of black women, in my opinion, don't look at white supremacy as a threat at all. They always, white supremacy isn't the issue. It's black on black this, it's black man this, it's black man that, it's black man this. Well, what about the construct of why these black men are doing the things that they're doing? Are we going to look at that? No, we're never going to look at that. Black women never look at that. All they look at is what the fuck is, uh, what is being, what they're doing. They never look at why it's being done. Okay, who put them in that position? Where are the opportunities at? Where are the jobs at? Where's the money at? That is not coming from black on black crime, baby. That comes from lack of resources which comes from the government, which they don't give to black people in black communities because they want to make sure that we stay the working fucking class, okay? Jesus Christ, this, this, this okay, so yeah, she's it, never mind. Because of gang violence, because someone- Gang violence, really? Gang violence? The biggest gang in this world is the police, as we can see, you know what I mean? So the gang violence that's going on in the community, once again, it's, it's all based off of one thing. And then on top of that, where did gangs come from? Like, were gangs really started to be a violent thing? No. If we go back and look into the history of gangs, really the first, you could, if you want to call them a gang, was the Black Panther Party. Okay, that was the first real gang. And you see what we did, what the Black Panther Party did. They helped the community, okay? They put food, you know, they was taking care of the community for real. Like, they had food systems and food services and all that. So. 
that was your that was our first real gang. And if you look back at that gang, that gang didn't do nothing but help the community. And then the gangs that we did started to to make, you know, throughout history. Yeah, some of them got corrupted. Yeah, you know how Cointel Pro work. You know how the government work. You know they ain't gonna let nothing, you know, let nothing good come from black people coming together. As well as you got the crack epidemic and everything else. But a lot of gangs were started, okay, were started because they wanted to help and protect the community. That's why most gangs were started. Now, yes, are they out of control now? A lot of them are, okay? I, I, I agree with that. But, you know, when she talks about shit, she just talks about it with no history behind it, in my opinion. And that's why the way she talks to me is just like, I, you know, I hear you, but it just sounds like, it sounds like ignorance because you're not putting any proof or facts behind what you're saying. You're just saying stuff. And there's already, there's already uh, paperwork and, 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 and shit and uh, what's the word I'm looking for? And articles and all type of things out here that can dispel everything that she's saying. I ain't gonna say everything, but a lot of what she's saying. So all she would have to do is read those articles. But see, she's probably the type of person that'll read those articles and still be like, uh-uh, I don't, you know, yeah, this is that, but this is not even real. This is not even from this, that, and this. So no, I don't believe this. So she's probably one of those type of individuals. Just keeping it a buck. Hit against his father, so they decided to kill his oh, son. Yeah. The guy was laughing in court. Everybody turns, turns, turns away from it. We're not going to talk about it because, oh, it was happening in our community. Let's instead go out and protest in the strange event that a black American gets shot by a, a, a police officer unarmed. And this is the crap that I say. They have you looking at something that's never, ever, ever going to matter, right? But, but, that's but, never going to fix but, anything because they know that we're slaughtering ourselves at a faster rate, and that's but, what they want. But, but two things, two, two things. One is that there is a difference between a policeman who kills a person and a citizen killing another citizen. Because the police represent, sure. but they're killing 19 a day. Yeah. No, no, no. Well, I mean, you, you, the blacks the numbers, are like absolutely. spent a year. And, and, and I. We have to speak the truth. Yeah, I agree. And so the truth that you talk about in terms of disproportionately black on black violence is something that you have to speak to. But the, the second point is this, though, that there are a number of folk in the black community 